Hi everyone, I'm here with one of my mules, Pisanka, and I want to show you the two most important things you do when you start playing Final Fantasy. You can think of this like you're visiting another country and they're sending out a stretch limo for you and your family. That's like one of the most important things. So let's get to it. Number one thing are records of eminence it's a way in the system to reward you for the things that you do the reward are sparks which in turn you can use to exchange for gear that you can wear or you can sell it to npc for a lot of money you can make about one million guild per week exchanging sparks for gear and selling it to npc so how do you get started there is a quest menu that you navigate you go to quests you go to objective list by the way this is a brand new mule character only get one shot at this so I apologize if I make any mistakes along the way. Forgive me, my fine people. All right, so you go to objective list. You go to tutorial. Basics. And select one step forward. As setting your objective. Notice. Now, now, under current, I have one out of 30 selected. So basically, you are allowed to do have pre-selected 30 objectives at a time. And also notice here, it keeps track how many sparks you have, which are the rewards. So I tag that and you can go and see four NPCs. So you will see Isa Kot in Boston Markets at E11, right by the exit. You can see Roland Diena in Southern Sandoria at the G10. You can check Helm Jobezat in Windows Woods, where we currently are at J10. Or you can see Eternal Flame in Western Adolan at H11. So let's see if Helm, and if you go on the quest and what this objective requires you to do speak one of the eminent guides so we're going to talk to her how would you proceed how hefty. It's actually a pretty funny dialogue. I suggest you read it. There's some uh, crazy thing is floating. I always wanted one of these. Yes, yeah, she says that by talking to her, the first objective was cleared. Oh, she went to score some dough, huh?
Klappt, klappt. Klapp. So. You obtain the key item. And notice that I, I was rewarded with 13 sparks. And thir uh, I mean 300 sparks and 300 experience points. And I got reward some strip of meat jerky. So you can also get coupons. You can get gear as a reward. A lot of stuff. Just uh, so what's happening now? Now under quests, you go to current. So you see, you have another one that says vanquish vermin or objective uh, tutorial. Now you see there's more things expand here, right? So you get stuff for missions, for storage expansion. When you do combat, you can select some for spoils. If you get fire crystal, ice crystal, wind crystal, earth crystal. So all these things I can accumulate. And you basically keep making sparks, right? So let's uh, advance through the tutorial. The first step forward, undertake training regime, heal without using magic, vanquish one enemy, stepping into ambuscade, call for alter ego, exploring the trove. Now let's see if we have other stuff we can do here. Content. Yeah. So in order to join Unity, we need to complete 10 or more records of of eminence. The Unity person here is this guy. Toljo Kasoljo. So let's speak to him, see what he says. So he says that you need to complete 10 records of eminence. So let's uh, do that. So let's uh, start tagging the map. So currently they want us to vanquish 20 vermin. Okay. So these things vanquish 20 vermin, what that is. So at given times during the day, you get to do different stuff. So this one is vanquish multiple enemies. Buff allies. Heal for 500 uh, plus HP. Very simple. On monthly, you also have uh, objectives here. So you can set up a lot of different stuff. So let's go to basics. First step, undertake our full training regime. Examine field manual, undertake fields of valor training regime. Field manuals can be found near the entrances to outposts, right? So let's set that. Heal without using magic. Okay, so that seems easy enough. That's two. Vanquish one enemy, all right. Then we can deal with that. Stepping into an ambuscade. Mm. We cannot do the other uh, three. Okay, so we have this at basic. Combat, general vanquish multiple enemies, we cannot do. Uh, deal 10 to 20 damage. Possibility now. This is taking total damage, weapon skills, heal. We can set this up. Spoils. Getting 10 fire crystal, 10 ice crystal, wind crystal, elt crystal, lightning crystal, water crystal, lightning, dark. So all these you can set. Typically I set them all because these things drop frequently and it's another way to uh, 
to get sparks. All right. Are the spoils black fang? So here I don't know what's gonna be dropping. So let's uh, look at the area, and then let's see. Let me see what else I can I can set here to complete ten. Fishing, crafting, harvesting content. You see, there's a lot of stuff uh, that can be done. Call for an alter egos are your companions that you get around uh, at five levels. So let's uh, let's step outside and let's get some enemies done. One of them was kill one enemy, so let's see if we can get a weapon here. Got two onion knives. Okay, so notice that I've been asked to look at field manual. So one of these objectives undertake a forward training regime. So this is the field manual. How these manuals work is that uh, they give you objectives and when you complete them you get rewarded with tabs. So we speak here. Read about individual training. So let's look at page one what it says six member of the mandingora family target level range one to six bring it on then you can set to repeat so now look what happens because i selected this we got rewarded with uh, another uh, 300 sparks and 500 points of experience and uh, consequently we level to level two. So now let's see if there's any more objectives. Tutorial, basics. Heal without magic, vanquish one enemy. Okay, so. And now we have, you see, a, a savannah rear up. So we can uh, go to a uh, combat wide area. We can go at spoils. So rabbit will drop us rabbit heights, right? So let's go after the little rabbit. Oh wow. Oh wow. Fight! Fight! Come on, Pisanka! Serious stuff. Oh. Oh man. Rabbit doesn't mess around. Are we missing? I'm already in yellow. Oh, I reached level one. Come on. Come on, girl. Oh, yes. That's 26%. Oh, I'm blinded. Do you see? I have uh, completed that and now we, we did three. So we have number of completed three. We need seven more. So let's see. Uh... Heal without using magic. Alright, so they say to uh, 
to go uh, slash heal or control H. Actually, you know what? I level, so there's nothing to heal here. So let's get those six Mandy's that um, the page was telling us to do. You see, now it says uh, progress one out of six, right? So while you're doing this, you are gonna advance with the page setup. So I recommend doing these things. Oh wow, critical. And you, the other one, Unity Concord, where we're trying to do the 10 record of eminence to join that. It's another, um, it's a system for fights. It's a system that also triggers rewards. So it's recommended to do this. Oh, by the way, if you see one of these guys, the brown chest, you actually have to pick the luck. So what you end up doing here, you keep examining the luck. So it says it's greater than 60 and less than 93, okay. Then you attempt to unlock, keep examining it. The first digit is 7, 8, or 9, okay. So we definitely know it's not 60. Second digit is odd, well. First digit is add, so it can only be a uh, 7 or 9. Try one time. The second digit is 1, 2 or 3. Wow, so it could be... Uh, 71 Alright, let's go with uh, 93 Was 73 ah. But you see you get the idea Let's get to our level 5 So why, why are we trying to get to level 5? Because level 5 will give us our trust. And with trust, these are like your companions. You can do other records of eminence, which will unlock um, the Unity Concord. Which is what we want to do. Oh wow, now I have weapon skill. Good stuff. Alright. So now let's heal, let's get our uh, one little tick so we can gain experience. All right. Here without magic. So you see, 300 sparks. Now I have 500 experience. How far did I go? Oh, I'm already at a level four. So we're almost there. Let's uh, keep working on the Mandy's.
I miss doing one thing, getting signed. Which I'm gonna show you. It's something important that you wanna do. Every time you fight within the regions of uh, conquest, you get conquest points, which later you can exchange uh, for items, gear. So I'm four of six on progress. Two more. Oh, we're gonna do wasp. We're gonna do wasp. Wasp thing for you. Another treasure chest. The treasure chest uh, can give you some items. Armor, weapon. If you want some challenge in your life, uh, you can go ahead and open them. This is the last one. Notice what happened, right? I did six out of six. I obtained 27 tabs. I got 270 uh, gil, and on top of that, I got 120 experience. So we're a little bit short. Let's uh, let's do our rabbits. Now I'm the stronger for you, man. Ugh. Ooh, was that a first critical? You see, I did a damage um, between 10 and 20, so it went up. chests give you like temporary items so you can get a potion plus two get the B Also notice it says uh, records of eminent vanquish vermin one out of 20 so this is the the um, records of eminence that changes all the time just to want to show you quickly there's a schedule for these things right so you see vanquish vermin uh, we are on Monday it takes place between uh, uh, 3 o'clock and uh, 7 o'clock Eastern daytime. And these things change. The most important ones uh, that you can gain a lot of sparks and, and money is the gain experience ones. That's the ones to, to keep in mind. They happen three times on Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday. Alright, so where we are in terms of level 5. Okay, we need one more fight.
How are we doing with the counts here? We completed four. We're very close to finish the 10 out of 20 damage. So let's just uh, let's just do that. One more hit and we complete that objective. All right, we got it. Look at this one, 900 sparks and 2,500 experience. That pushed me already to level six. All right, and how are we doing with the? So we have completed five uh, five records of eminence, right? That was fast. So now let's get our trust. So to do that, we're gonna go talk to one of the NPCs here. We're gonna do the path for Windrust and they say speak to Wetata in Windrust Woods at G10. He will give you the Green Institute card. So let's go and do that. So Wetata is at G10. Easiest way to find it is you go to White Scan and start looking for Wetata. Oh, here we go. So we have to go west. Going to the right spot. Wet data. Okay, there he is. Tell us a little bit about the trust. This might take a little bit time, but believe me. Yes, why not? This is worth it and it will set you up very nicely. Yes. So he wants me to go to Heaven's Tower. Alright. So he wants us to go and talk to Hupipi in Heaven's Tower. So um, we gotta go up north. Heaven's Towers is north. These cast NPCs are in every town. In Bostock, it will be Clyde on start. In Port Bostock at K7. 
and then Sandoria will be gone about in Southern Sandoria at L6. See how I'm going? Yeah, I'm going in the right spot. I could pee pee. And one thing. In the game, I, I'm, I'll show you right now. The transportation has been simplifying in this game by a lot. You guys see those blinking crystals on the map? These are teleportation uh, spots. So once you activate one by clicking on it, you can teleport to another one. It saves you time. So, as you can see, this character is so brand new, I, I haven't come into this spot yet. So this teleport has not been activated, so when I activate it, when I click on it, it tells me you are now able to teleport here from any other home point. So you can set this as your home point, or you can go to travel to another home point, And it gives me other location. See, so I can teleport on the map right there. So let's go to uh, Heaven's Tower. Very nice, relaxing Final Fantasy music. This game is wonderful, it will captivate you, there's so much to do, so much to explore, so many people to befriend. Great fights, epic battles, a great storyline, equipment, quests, uh, armor quests, everything. And one thing about the trust that I'm getting, the companions, they're so good that you don't really have to um, invest too much in in armor just keep getting weapons the the trust will recover you till you hit a further levels then you can dress yourself up but the trust will keep you alive uh, pretty well i say like the first armor that you should really get is your artifact armor okay so here we are i'm gonna look for kupipi inside My favorite trusts. These guys are funny.
But what she wants us to do is to come back here after we after we summon her outside. So we go to while I'm walking I can send another quest for record of eminence. So let's get out of here. Let's walk to our teleport. So let's go to quests, current, uh, objective list. Let's do um, tutorial basics. Cobalt an alter ego because now we have an alter ego to call. So we go here, and we're gonna teleport right to the exit. Current region, the walls, let's go to exit. All right, let's uh, get assigned this time. Not mess around. Let's talk to one of the guards. Would you cast sign on me? Yes. Notice something is gonna appear on upper corner, right? So I want to show you a trick. If you go to config, gameplay, global. Cut filter on, that's it, effects. Cut filters. Miscellaneous, oh. Weather effects, shadows, normal, character. Okay, let me see gameplay. Uh, inventory, gamma adjustment. There's some important setting I just want to see. That's going to give you counters. Unscreen damage display. The say screen. Oh, misstep animation uh, frame rate max. Wait, uh, counters, counters, status icons on. Yes. Status icons, party icon display on and timer display on. So now look what happens. That's what I was looking for. You notice it says five hours on the sign it. So it tells you that it will expire in, in five hours. This is important because uh, when you have buffs on you, it tells you when they're going to wear out. All right, so here we are. Moment of truth. You go to trust and you select Upipi and you call her forth. And notice, look what happened. You had another cypher of Valnerian alter ego. So you got rewarded with a cipher that allows you to call another trust. So let's go back and uh, talk to Kupipi because she wanted us to, to speak to her. Oh, 
Okay, so let's go back to her. We can use the shortcut now. Winter walls. Yes, this one gets us right by the heavens heart. So you see record of eminent rewards is a lot of things, it could be money, sparks, experience points, uh, items, trusts, alright, FOPP, let's go. Okay, let's talk to her. Wonderful. So now she gave you a card that you can get uh, other alter egos. You are now able to call multiple alter egos. So we have the cypher that we received. So let's go ahead and see how this works. We almost there guys, almost there. Travel to another home point, current home point. When there's woods. What's the closest to that one? I think it's the the exit point. again here he is let's trade him what we receive so we got Cypher Valenera, which is a, a paladin, it will be your tank. You get this guy excited. the exit so now when you look at the objective list for tutorial basics 
They want us to call an alter ego Valenera. So we are up currently at six. And this is the key to getting the ten. Because you're going to be calling them one after another. And this way you will satisfy that uh, accolade um, unity concord requirement. All right. So now let's uh, let's uh, let's look serious here, right? So we got two now. Valenera, so you have your tank. And you have your white mage, your healer. Look at this. So now you can fight enemies that are tough. Look how fast this fight will go now, right? Remember this B? There it is. You know? So we satisfied the requirement. And they gave us, notice, another uh, alter ego, Mich Michli alter ego. I know this is a little of a pain. But going back and forth like this. But, uh, um, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. It's so objective list. Now we do tutorial again. Basics. And it called Alter Ego Michli Alipoch. Let's call that. Okay, so this guy, let's trade him. So we got Cyper Michili. Another white mage. So you got another 300 sparks for a total of 3000, and you have uh, another cipher to do. So we are at 8. The so objective list, tutorial basics. Alter Ego Tenzin. And then I'll show you how to turn the sparks into money. This is, I think, one of the best uh, things you can do when you're starting this game.
So what I established for you is the, a way to get rewarded, a way to progress because now you have trust, they help you fight, and a, and a way to make money. You can get equipment and whatever you need. So we're trading the cipher here. Tenzin. there. And notice we already at level 7. Another thing in this game, leveling is super fast. You can be at uh, 99 in days. And once you hit 99, it's the equipment that raises your level. So you get quickly a I-119 equipment and you add a level I-119. Alright, so let's call this truss out. Tenzan. Samurai. Right? And look at this, we have another alter ego. So let's uh, set our quests, objective list, tutorial, basics, alter ego, other hide. And when we do that, we're going to be set for Unity Concord. I wish she was a little closer to the gate. Here you go. And as you get items, there's a website called ffxiah.com and you can uh, check yourself here, your character, or you can, for example, uh, check out the prices and items that you find. So if we got rabbit hide, for example, you can see that if you sell it at an auction house, you can get 2,000 gear for it. For one, and for a stack you can get 9,000. So it's uh, worth checking out the prices and things that you gather. Because sometimes uh, something insignificant that sells to an NPC might be like 30 gil. But you can sell it for 100k an auction house. So make sure you do that. Alright, moment of truth. We are about to complete our 10th requirement. We are at 9.
All right, let's call our trust. And you see, we got another one even. You are him. But I want to show you a trick here. So we can call up to three. As you progress to Rhapsodies of Vanadel, which should be your next priority. You get a lot of gimmicks that make this game much more enjoyable and plus unlock new areas. Plus be able to call f up to five trusts. So you have all those trusts that will fight with you. But uh, if you want to get rid of them, uh, you will click on one and say release. But uh, you know, this can get tedious, right? If you need to do it fast. So there's a command, you type RTR return all. R E Oh, R E T R space O. So the command is R E T R space O forward slash, and that will re return all the trust. So we have satisfied ten record of eminence requirements. Let's join the unity now. As you remember, this was the Staru who previously said, I will not talk to you if you don't do 10 things. Okay, so now a new record of eminence object for all for one is now available. Okay, so he wants me to select it. All right, so we go to quests. Objective list, tutorial basics, all for one. You select this and you talk to him. Sure, I'll try. So Unity Concord, you, there's several characters that uh, have factions in this game. So it's important to the one that you pick. And the thing is, uh, if you have enough uh, record of eminence, um, tasks completed then uh, you can actually summon the leader of your unity faction as your trust I like Apururu which is considered one of the smartest trusts in the game and it also it matters how you summon the trust so first you want to call your tank then the fighters, then um, bagwin jobs. Okay, so they're asking you which unity you want to join. Pioja, Ayame, Invincible Shield, Apururu, Matt, Aldo, Yakov, Venkolo, Nadja, Salem, Plavirada, Yoran, Oran, Sylvia. So, a little bit about the unity. The higher it's ranked, the more powerful the weapons that you get from unity will yield but you will get less rewards uh, called accolades when you fight so the lower the unity the the higher the the rewards when you fight but the weapons are weaker and gear i just go with apururu because i just like how he is yes we want to join apururu Now you see Apururu talking. The Apururu sometimes can talk in the chat window.
a quite long cutscene. Please don't lose patience. Oh wow, so we got more. So we got 2000 unity accolades for this. And we join Apururu. And we have some exciting player here. He's so excited. Let's dance with him. So how does this work, right? So you talk to this guy. He can teleport you to to other areas, which is a which is a trick. That's bring me to a wanted encounter area. So that's a trick to get to places where you haven't been. Also, you can buy items. So I can tell you that if you get price powders, you can get enough accolades uh, every week up to a hundred thousand and you can exchange that for one million gil. So you can get one million gil from sparks and one million gil uh, of um, price powders. You sell them to NPC and you have your two million gil per week. All right. And also when you go to records uh, of eminence, now you have objective list, you have unity. So you have uh, some tasks to do under Apururu and unity. And then you have unity wanted fights. These are monster fights that are used um, to gather equipment, which you can later uh, upgrade. And also, uh, if I, for example, select Abyss Diver, look what happens, right? I talk to him. Bring me to wanted area. Wanted accepted area. So he can teleport you to Burmu Peninsula. So on the beginning, it's difficult for you to move around. He can actually teleport you closer to you where you need to go. So that saves you time and travel. So let, let me show you a little bit uh, how to make the money so let's let's go here and this equipment here uh, you don't have special mats yet but once you fight the unity maps you'll be able to also buy uh, the upgrade um, items from here so let's say when I go to uh, items please so let's say I buy price powder Let's just get uh, so let's get a thousand, right? Oh no, they say I don't have enough. So let's get uh, one uh, one hundred, yeah. All right. So we got this, and now how to make money with sparks? You go here, you talk to the Sparks uh, person, and you go to uh, 7298. You scroll uh, three pages over. You see something called Acheron Shield. It costs 2755 Sparks. You select it. And this gets you about 30,000 gil. So let's look up a uh, NPC place where we can dump this. Okay, so by the guild, there's a place. But don't sell it in the guild because the prices are a little bit lower. So let's go to the guild. So here we are, this is, um, let's go to Bone, bone Crab, but there's an actual shop there.
All right, so here we go. So you go sell and watch this. Add your own shield. 26,723. Obviously, when your fame increases, you'll be able to get more for that shield. You sell it, then price powders. It's a hundred, uh, you get for 100, you get 10,000 jewel, basically. So, there it is. So we just made uh, close to 40,000 gil. And lastly, it's always good to join a guild. When you have signed it on, you'll be accumulating crystals. And with a crystal, you can make an item. So let's uh, welcome to Bon uh, Girls. Sign up. Yes. I gotta win crystal. And uh, when you go to a website called BG Wiki, this is Bonecraft. So you can see recipes here. So in the beginning you start at an amateur level. So she gave me a wind crystal. You can you should do recipes uh, five under the cap, up to five over. That's when you get the best uh, skill upgrade. So if you look here. Um, Using a, a wind crystal bone chip, I can make a bone hairpin, and that's a level four synthesis. All right, can we wear that? Actually, it's a level five. Yep. So you can craft your own gear. So let's let's do this. So I have one crystal she gave me. Let's get one bone chip. Here we go and um, there are ways to increase your crafting level which you track here under crafts uh, under status craft skills you see everything's at zero so I can increase this to three by talking to this lady advanced image support at story Jill you take it so we have a bone chip and let's do it so you go to item, wind crystal, bone chip, let it rip. And we got a skill up. And we made it. Bone hairpin. And if you are high enough, Above the cap, you can actually do a, a high quality items. So that will give me, I can make a bone hairpin plus one if I'm more skilled. So you can go to equipment, head, and you can wear your bone pin. So I hope all those little tips were helpful. Leave me a comment, guys, if you have questions about anything that I've shown and any other questions you might have about the game. I wish you all good luck, happy gaming, and all the best. Bye-bye. Please subscribe.